Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you a very special recipe. This is an opera cake and it's quite a classic so I decided to add it to my repertoire. So what we have here is essentially a layered dessert. I'm starting off with the sponge cake part and for that I'm going to be using some eggs that you see here and I'm going to separate those into egg whites and egg yolks because I'm trying to build a very light cake layer and for that we use this method of building the air firstly with the egg whites. So I have that here and I'm gonna beat that until it gets really frothy and to stabilize it a little bit I'm gonna add the sugar gradually as I whisk here. So you can do this with a stand mixer or a hand mixer. I kind of recommend doing this um, with a machine because it gets pretty tiring. So once you have soft peaks, kind of a soft meringue, you can add the fatty egg yolk to this and you beat it until it's incorporated and this is sort of the consistency you're looking for. Now onto the dry ingredients. Again, we want a very nice airy um, sponge cake layer. So I'm going to sift all of my dry ingredients here. And what I like to do is just use a piece of parchment to do it. So I don't have to worry about um, going a bit over a bowl. Um, this is a great way to get more surface area so that if it goes everywhere, you can just pull it back with the paper sides and you can also use the sides to just dump um, that straight into the batter. So that was the egg mixture here and I'm very slowly mixing in the dry ingredients all together. Just getting the last bit out and I'm going to use that later on to cover a cake tin or something like that. So I'm just going to whisk this until it's incorporated and then I'm switching to my hand spatula and to that I'm going to add just a little bit of butter to give it some richness. This is melted butter that has been cooled and I'm just going to fold that in. So that's ready. That was the sponge cake part. Um, now this is kind of the trick to a very good layer cake and by trick I just mean working in a very specific way so it's kind of more of a technique. Um, so I have this silicon uh, baking mat here that is made for these sort of uh, layered cakes um, because it achieves a very nice and thin layer and because of the edges then you can ensure that it's even throughout the whole um, cake. You can also use a normal baking tray. Just make sure you line it with parchment and try to even out all of the surface as much as possible. Tap for any air bubbles and bake it at 190 for about 10 to 12 minutes. It should be nice and spring it to the touch like this. So that's the first layer. It's ready to go. Just cover it with a cloth. And when it's nice and cool, we can remove it from the mold. And I'm just going to quickly show you. Mine has cooled, of course, through the magic of video. Um, and if you have one of these silicon mats, then uh, just be careful when you remove it. Um, you want to do it nice and slowly and help it as much as possible. I think the tricky bits are just the corners, really. The rest should come out very easily and it really gives you a super thin even layer and that's a great basis for a layered cake they're not super expensive i think i bought mine for about 10 or 15 euros um so yeah just if you bake a lot of these then it might be worth investing in one so that was layer number one for the second layer um, it is a coffee flavored dessert, so there's chocolate and coffee in this cake and the coffee component comes from this 
um, buttercream layer and it's quite a simple buttercream we have butter sugar and i'm using espresso you can use really um, strong coffee if you don't have an espresso at hand and besides that it's literally just as simple as making any um, american buttercream recipe you want to beat your butter until it's very nice and smooth it changes color a little bit it should be paler than what you started with and once you have the butter ready then you can add your sifted icing sugar always make sure to sift icing sugar since um, it's very likely that it's lumpy when you store it so once it gets going i sort of add one tablespoon at a time of this espresso shot that i have here and just mix very well adding one of these ingredients at a time and at the end of it just give it a little taste if you feel like you could use a little more um, coffee flavor then by all means add a little bit more just make sure that the consistency is as shown so i'm gonna start assembling the dessert those are the main two components the third one i didn't um, film for this video because it's just a simple ganache and the other component is what you see on the screen here this is just a simple syrup with um, espresso shot and some sugar in there so just adding some of that coffee flavor so actually bear that in mind in case you're um, thinking i'm gonna add more coffee flavor to my buttercream because you will have some coffee from the syrup as well onto the sponge now back to the video you're seeing a lot of crazy things on the screen right now and this is because i'm trying to build very even layers so as you remember me mentioning throughout the whole video um, this is a layered dessert so the more even you can build it the nicer uh, the dessert will turn out and the nicer it will slice as well so I decided to try out uh, building my layers with these rolling pin guides and this is kind of a crazy thing to do but I have loads of them they're really affordable and if you work with pastry as much as I do then you will have them around um, in professional kitchens they have these frames that basically do the same you have things that go from half a centimeter or just different sizes so you can use them um, to build the layers in whatever height you wish them to be um, so I'm essentially doing that without having the full frame I just have two sides and then I'm using that to scrape off the layers as I build them so it's a little bit of a weird construction here but it was actually quite effective that together with a spatula or you can use one of the guides as well to just scrape off any excess and that way you ensure that you have a completely even height throughout each of these layers um, so if you have rolling pin guides like i do then might be worth the try for you as well maybe not just for this dessert but any sort of layered dessert so um, another uh, tip that i can give you is to chill each layer as you build it so that you have a stable mm -hmm. base to work with that's quite important so every time i'm adding either buttercream or the ganache um, i'm trying to put this in the fridge for about 20 minutes and then i move on with the next layer so another thing i'm building these layers in a specific order um, you don't have to follow that to the t for example i start with buttercream and then some ganache you can start with ganache and then buttercream and so on but one thing i do recommend is to finish it with the ganache this is a one-to-one -one ratio ganache so it's equal parts chocolate equal parts um, whipping cream and the reason i suggest finishing off with this is that you get a very nice um, even layer for free because you can just you know pour it all over um, the cake and it's a very forgiving uh, look 
you don't have to smooth it out as much as you would have the buttercream, for example. So those are all the layers. Uh, we've built the upper cake now. This is the finished product. I just wanted to show you how to um, cut your slices neatly. I have a very long cake knife here. It has a serrated side. Um, so I tried that and then I decided to show you an even more pristine way of cutting it. I'm just marking my slices here with the knife since I already started using it. But now I'm going to switch to a different knife. Um, I'm going to use really hot water, immerse the knife and then wipe it clean with a cloth and quickly cut steadily the slices. Repeat that for each slice. It should slice very, very easily. Um, my cake has been in the fridge so that it sets fully before I attempt to cut the slices. So that makes it a lot easier for me to get clean slices here. And if you want to really see those layers, I like to present this cake with all sides uncovered. So I do cut the ends as well. And let me show you what it looks like once you serve it. So you can see all those layers. I think this homemade attempt of building my own frame um, worked really well, um, but I'll let you decide that for yourself. Um, so here are all the layers. This is a very elegant dessert. It belongs with the classics um, and it is a classic. It's a classic entremet. Um, and you cannot beat the combination of coffee and chocolate, really. So um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the cake and that you tried the recipe. If you have any other ideas that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to make it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.